Mike Lawler. And I'm sure you're wondering why I'm wearing these sunglasses. I gotta go catch a plane here out of LA in a few hours back to the East Coast. But my good buddy Dave Clayton here from guitarbreakdown.com wanted me to come and show you some East Coast stuff. So I brought some hybrid picking licks you might enjoy. So let's get started. We start out with something pretty simple here. We're gonna work out of some A minor sounds. To be specific, it's called A Dorian, which consists of A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. So it's like a normal A minor scale, but you got the F sharp in there. So here it is again. if you keep going and play the same exact notes. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to take that and if you can understand this visually what we're going to do is we're going to break this down to where you're going to grab a note from each adjacent string. And instead of just playing straight, we're going to grab these notes and play them back and forth with our fingers and our pick. If you notice I'm playing the E here, where I played it before it was here on the B string, but now we're grabbing it here, the same note, on the G string. So it's in the scale, but we're just going to play it here. If you were to break that down visually, you see these three notes. And here, and here, and here. So you're grabbing from those notes. This works great in a context where you're playing your root chord, A minor, and then playing a major four, like a D major. You can think of something similar to like uh, Santana. Like uh, the Almond Brothers, something like Dreams. So anytime you've got a minor one and a major four, which is very simple because it's right across from it, you can grab that Dorian feel, that. And using this technique, you're making something sound different than your standard old. Move it up an octave, same notes. This guitar has some nice overtone. We're going to go to the same thing. Same exact notes. You just repeat it. Get very hypnotic. And the way I'm doing it for you is obviously I'm using my finger for each adjacent string. I could pick it all if I wanted. But that's kind of more of an abrupt sound. This kind of does is it kind of lets it bleed into the next note. And when you just sit there and work on it, like kind of, uh, like I said before, kind of hypnotic and very melodic. And I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Okay. <laughs> I'm like a bunch of squirrels gathering nuts. Well, it's been said that I'm a man of, of many different hats, so uh, in keeping with that, I've changed hats to, uh, this is more of my diminished hat. I have people ask me all the time, you know, diminished, um, sick and tired of hearing the same old thing, the whole, like, you know, uh, you know. Another way to break up your playing is you take the technique we were just working on, where you're going to take that pattern. <laughs> You're going to break it up where you're weaving you're 
weaving in and out, okay? If, in case you uh, need to catch up the speed and diminished, all diminished is, is every note is one and a half steps away from the next. So to make it easier, I've kind of put this in an open string context. If you were to start from your open E, you'd have only have four notes to play. E, G, B flat, D flat. And that's it, because you're back to E again. And all we're doing is playing every one and a half steps, every three frets on the guitar. Okay, so taking that into consideration, remember you had the E. Consider E as our root in this case. So that means you go down to your D flat. G, B flat, D flat, E. And then when you get to your G string, the G is going to be open as well, because remember we played G before. E, G, B flat. So G and E are going to be the exact same patterns. So you can have all kinds of fun with this diminished scale with leave the B string out of it. But when you go back to that whole pattern idea of whatever pattern you play in diminished, you move it up three frets and it's the same pattern. But I digress. Back to the hybrid picking idea. You're going to play the notes here and instead of going, you're going to grab that next note and then weave back to your G string. So you have and I just take that idea and move it up every three frets each time. Go to the next strings, you have a whole different pattern going on, but it's the same thing. Once you learn the pattern, you move it every three frets, you're golden. So across these three strings, you've got you've got it out of the G and the E. Okay, when you move across to these three strings for another pattern, what you have now is so again E, G, B e flat, D e flat, E. So if you notice, because of the way guitar is set up. You're playing the same pattern across, but you need to just change one string, and that one string will be the G string. So instead of the pattern you had before, which was pinky first, third, pinky first, now you're going pinky first, second, pinky first. So now you have a whole new pattern, very similar, okay, with the same possibilities. Played it real quick, you'd hear. Back up to E again. And I'm going to take that technique. And play the same thing, back and forth. Okay, so basically, now we have our two different sets of strings. We have our three here with the... Uh, and we have this one here. So we're going to combine the two and do the same thing. You get a nice hypnotic rhythm going. And uh, so back and forth. And take it and move it up three frets each time. Okay, and that's all the way up, playing the same four notes, just across those strings. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out my hybrid picking lesson. Here at GuitarBreakdown.com, we're working on a package that will involve chicken picking, banjo licks, all kinds of great hybrid picking stuff. So, my name is Mike Lawler, I play in the New York City area, come check me out sometime. And keep looking at guitarbreakdown.com for some upcoming lessons.